You'll be happy when you get that girlfriend, you get more money, you get the new house, the new job. You'll be happy when you lose weight. You'll be happy when, if only, if only, if only. Today's reading is about bringing attention to this idea of if only mind. That's how I understand it from my Buddhist teachings and practices. Today we are reading June 23rd, The Long Way Around in the book, The Daily Stoic by Ryan Halliday. My name is Mike Stroh. This is the Stars of Me channel. We are trying to help you increase your capacity for resilience and well-being. Please comment, like, subscribe, share this video, and consider supporting the channel through Patreon, all of which is in the description below. Thank you very much for being here. So, June 23rd, the long way round. Let's get to it. You could enjoy this very moment, all the things you are praying to reach by taking the long way around, if you'd stop depriving yourself of them. Marcus Aurelius Meditations 12.1. Ask most people what they're working toward, and you'll get an answer like, I'm trying to become a, insert profession. Or they'll tell you they're trying to get appointed to some impressive committee or position, become a millionaire, get discovered, become famous, whatever. Now you ask a couple more questions, such as, why are you doing that? Or what are you hoping it will be like when you get it? And you find at the very core of it, people want freedom, they want happiness, and they want the respect of their peers. A Stoic looks at all this and shakes his head at the immense effort and expense we put into chasing things that are simple and straightforward to acquire. It's as if we prefer to spend years building a complicated Ruby Goldberg machine instead of just reaching out and picking up what we want. It's like looking all over for your sunglasses and then realizing they were on your head the whole time. Freedom? That's easy. It's in your choices. Happiness? That's easy. It's in your choices. Respect of your peers? That too is in the choices you make. And all of that is right in front of you. No need to take the long way to get there. Well, it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Oftentimes, again, we think we're getting what we want through these pursuits. But if we think about that, if only mind idea, the long way around, we want to remember, okay, that although there's value in achievement, there is gratification in getting appointed to boards, getting the job, getting that positive feedback from your peers. No doubt that is a value. The, the wisdom here, at least as I understand it and try to apply to my own life, is that we only ever exist now. And even when we get those things, they're very fleeting. They disappear. Then the if only drops out and we're pursuing something else. Or we kind of wish we had that gratification back. And what this idea of being present, staying in the moment, being happy now, that's easy, it's in your choices, is, is the mind skill of recognizing that peace of mind, stability, contentment is always available to you. And it doesn't come through these achievements. These achievements bring a sense of emotional joy or motivation or exuberance or momentary happiness, they do not provide us with a stable quality of mind. They do not provide us with a stable sense of being grounded and like we've accomplished what we need to accomplish. So how are you taking the long way around? Write out your list. What's your if only? If only I had this, or if only that person didn't say this, if only my mom was this, if only my girlfriend was this, if only my partner was this. If only my kids wouldn't do this. If only my boss didn't do this. Write out your if only list and ask yourself, is it really true? Can you find contentment now in acceptance of this struggle, in acceptance of the if only you're telling yourself? Practice letting go. Practice perhaps even strategizing on how to address the if only idea and simultaneously surrender or acknowledge the reality that that thing, that change, isn't really going to bring you consistent contentment. 
no doubt it will help. No doubt it can contribute. And at the same time, it's a fleeting kind of, it comes, it goes type of thing, right? The mind, my favorite definition of the Buddhist idea of suffering, dukkha, is life is unsatisfactory. I think we evolved our, our biological nature is to somewhat be unsatisfied because if we are satisfied in, in the grander sense, we'll die, right? We won't seek shelter. We don't, won't seek food. We won't seek reproduction. And so we have this never ending sense of dis-ease or unsatisfactoriness to us. And then the way we go about trying to solve that is through this long way around, through this if only mind. And, and part of, in my opinion, the skillfulness of integrating these wisdom traditions into modern busy civilization is to harness or to develop that subtle balance between being and becoming, between pursuing the if onlys, the job, the happiness, the whatever you want, to, the, the marriage, the relationship, and being present in the moment as we go along and recognizing the nature of mind and recognizing that really these things are nice and they're lovely to have and they do provide little boosts here and there. Yet nevertheless, you're going to return to that unsatisfactory state of mind. And part of, of the wisdom of the ages and even in the modern times is, is how do we balance those two things and how do we <sighs> learn how to just breathe and be where we are, recognize gratitude in the moment, recognize happiness in the moment. That too is in the choices you make. So what choices are you making? Maybe you can write some of those down on the other side of that, if only list. How might you make different choices to learn how to be at ease with what's happening now? It is right in front of you. Or perhaps it's even right underneath your nose and the next breath you take Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. June 23rd, the long way around. Please comment, subscribe, all that nonsense I mentioned already. Consider supporting the channel on Patreon. With that, we'll be back with the next reading. I wish you all the best. Take it easy. Peace out. I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content. And otherwise, have a great day. Peace out.